Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm your host, Captain Awesomeness, and today is part three of our Burrell go-kart breakdown. So as you guys know, in the previous episodes, I was working on trying to basically break down my go-kart, learn a little bit about it myself, and maybe help you guys learn a little bit as well. And uh, on top of that, you know, I also talked about how I might stop with working on this cart with the front end and then rebuilding the entire thing, but I've changed my mind. And uh, that's just because, you know what, if I'm not going to do this now, then when am I going to do it? So that is what we're going to do today. So just to also remind you guys, we are going to remove basically the front end, which would be the hub over here, the steering um, uh, system over here, and then the fuel tank. And uh, I'm going to leave a couple of things still on the chassis just because they're not going to be part of the breakdown that I want to do. And plus, um, I'm also kind of doing a lot of these things on my own. Also, before I do begin, guys, I'm not going to ask you to like and subscribe. I have a special announcement to make, and I will make that once I get through with this. This is going to be done in fast motion. So saddle up and let's go for it. So that actually ends everything here for us. Uh, I did not want to go any deeper than I did, primarily because of what I said earlier. I want to be able to get as much parts as I can out that will help me clean up this chassis and make sure that I, I can do a real inspection and uh, see if there's anything that uh, needs attention. And so far, so good. So the front end, the pedals, the steering shaft, uh, and even these um, uh, tie rods are going to just stay where they are. Uh, this just gives me a complete view. It is a dirty, dirty chassis, which is, of course, a result of it uh, having been raced uh, last season. So I'm going to clean it all up. And once I do, I'm going to, you know, just go over rebuilding the process. Now, the rebuild will be in fast track, so you guys don't have to go through the whole thing because the main idea was for you guys to kind of see what all this uh, entails. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way things look. I'm really, really happy. Um, I also did try to get the skid plate out, by the way, and it just so happens that the skid plate has a bit of an issue so I'm not gonna mess with it I'm just gonna go with it the way uh, it is right now and uh, just start with the cleanup and not to mention you know the the skid plate doesn't get in the way of anything so why even bother having said that here is the most important thing that I need to talk to you guys about <sighs> I gotta play with my sunglasses or not sunglasses but I'm gonna play with my eyeglasses a little bit when I say this so I've been thinking long and hard about what the point of this channel was. When I first started it out, you guys might know, some of you at least, that it happened as a result of a reinvigoration for my love for go-karting when I went to Lahore, Pakistan in 2021. I've mentioned that thousands and thousands of times to everybody that knows me. With that in mind, when I came back to the United States, I started go-karting here again and all I got was indoor karting until I got to meet the great people at Racing for Vets who uh, gave me the opportunity to be a part of the team to learn what real go-karting is about. And it has been the most invaluable things that I've learned, not just about how to race, but about many of the things that I needed as a veteran uh, in need of uh, help and support. And that has been the best thing to have happened to me. So in all in all, it's been a great experience Experience, you know but you know what I did realize was that when I came back to the United States I had told myself I'm gonna do this show go-karting because I saw all the young impressionable minds in Pakistan and what I have wanted to do ever since I created the channel was to get more and more people involved in this thing that is so huge in the United States so huge in Europe so why can it not be huge in Pakistan and to add to it 
If you look at the statistics of my YouTube channel, majority of my viewers, an overwhelming majority of my viewers are from Pakistan. So I think it's only best for me to now try to think of other ways to keep you guys engaged. I want you guys to know what the, the art of go-karting is about and what other way to do that than not just by racing for a team, which you know not everybody's gonna have the uh, opportunity to do, I bought this go-kart so that I could eventually start to go to different tracks and show you guys all of that, uh, different places that have you know their leagues or their seasons and all that. So racing for vets, always gonna be near and dear to my heart, but I gotta expand. So I have reassessed my situation and I think it's best for me after I build this cart with you guys watching to start hitting up different places over here and then eventually maybe also getting more people to be interested to where these go-karts see themselves in Pakistan. You know, there's a 2F2F karting club in Lahore and then the same uh, name over in Islamabad and then there is the Omni uh, track over in Karachi. So three big tracks that have had a lot of people show up but all they have is rental go-karts so uh, i do know that omni has some other carts as well but this is the way for you guys to see hey if i cannot afford to buy myself a shifter cart or you know a road tax or uh, a friggin x30 or even a k100 uh, i'm a low budget person what can i do well this my friends is right it for you so i want to be able to not only show you what the excitement that even a 206 class uh, cart can bring, but maybe what the annual costs are. And they might be a little less for you in Pakistan, depending on, uh, the, you know, lots of things, exchange rate, availability of parts, uh, and all that good stuff. So with that in mind, I am going to be starting off my season racing on my own. I am uh, going to still go to G&J Cartway, but I'm going to race on my own, finance myself, and all that good stuff, because it's still a great uh, track. Uh, it's just that, you know, again, like I mentioned, I gotta go to more places. So I have a lot in mind, and when the season starts, I have a little surprise for you guys on that as well. I wish I could break it down more, but you know, I've just run into some stuff, and again, I am a budget mechanic. I don't know everything, and I am doing this by myself. So if it ever comes down to where I have collected enough tools that I can actually go through this breakdown without being worried about, hey, what am I gonna do with this or that? Then yeah, it'll you know come to that, it'll come to that. But in the meantime, we will still walk through all of this. I am going to offer tips and whatnot on how to get a go-kart aligned and how to like, you know, work on the uh, throttle cable once I do put it back together, what do you gotta look for, how a carb works once I kinda teach myself that. So lots and lots of exciting stuff coming up. And before I go guys, there is one more thing I wanna share with you. There is going to be an event on the 4th of February 2023 down in Westchester, Ohio. It is the Ohio Valley Karting Association swap meet. It is going to be the biggest uh, swap meet that we have in Ohio. Uh, lots and lots of vendors who show up, lots of people who show up. And what are they doing? They're basically offering parts for sale, some are used, some are new. And uh, you get to connect with a lot of folks who know a lot of things about a lot of stuff when it comes to go-karting. So I'm gonna be there um, and I'm gonna have a great time. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of learning uh, with uh, uh, some of the classes that they will also be offering down there. I'm gonna be looking for parts for this go-kart as well. So uh, lots of cool things to do. I did actually go there uh, last year, but it was just more of a, you know, I, I didn't know much of anything, but this time I have a lot of knowledge thanks to all the people who have been so supportive. So I'm looking forward to what would be a great season in my humble opinion. And uh, yeah, this will uh, be a great trajectory, I think. And that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all at the next Apex. Bye-bye.